Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aniket and I'm back with another fresh informative video. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you five complex English words for your IELTS writing. And obviously, just knowing the word isn't enough, right? You have to understand the precise meaning of that particular word and how exactly to use them. That is, the usage in IELTS writing sentences for your essay as well as for your report writing. So this video is going to be super important for your video. And as usual, if you are not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel because 100k is our goal. We have to hit it, right? And video ko pehle hi like karto because a lot of crucial information is coming on your way. And without any further bullshit, let's jump the video. All right. So our first category is vocabulary for proving your arguments. Be it in your IELTS writing task two or task one, I'll be giving you three exact words which you can use flexibly to express or to prove your arguments. Right. The first word is to attest. To attest. The second word is to prove. And the final word is. This is evidenced by. This is evidenced by. I'll be giving an example to clarify this. Example is consuming moderate amount of sweets can be good for health. This is evidenced by, or this is proved by, or this is att attested by. A number of cases when people improve their health conditions by eating chocolate. This is an example, and this is the exact usage of all the three vocabularies. Now you can use them as for your flexible sentence construction for your essay writing or for your report writing. All right. The second category is vocabulary for giving examples. Like for example, my ex used to say me, "She is too hot." <laughs> that's not my concern. That's not even your concern as well. Focus on the video. I'm all about your father. Come on, Sikachal. So I'll be giving you three exact words by which you can express your examples or give your examples in your essay writing. The first word is for instance. The second one is to illustrate, and the third word is. To clarify, these are the three words. I'm giving an example to clarify the usage. Clarify the usage. I'm, I, I've already used the vocabulary once. Okay. क्या बढ़िया था गुरु. Example to illustrate. A lot of wild animals are endangered. Or you can use to clarify. A lot of wild animals are endangered. And finally, you can use for instance. A lot of wild animals are endangered. This is how you can use them flexibly in your sentence construction for task two. या फिर you can use them in a task one as well. Moving on to our third category, which is vocabulary for outlining facts. Whenever you are trying to express a fact, जब भी आप एक fact को बताना चाह रहे हो ऐसे में, then you can use these sets of vocabulary to express your facts very flexibly. The first word is the fact is that. The fact is that. इसके बाद अपना fact आप लगा सकते हो sentence में. But initially you have to write the fact is that, then the sentence. The next one is this proves that. This proves that, then the sentence will come. And the final one is it is obvious that. It is obvious that. ठीक है, these are the three vocabulary you can use to flexibly outline the facts. Example, it is obvious that deforestation has no positive effects. It is obvious that deforestation has no obvious effects. This is how you can outline the facts flexibly, and I've given you three words for it. Moving on to our fourth category, which is vocabulary for expressing your personal opinions. This is very common for opinion-based essays, जो बहुत ज़्यादा आते हैं आल्सरिंग टास्क टू में. So you can express your opinions by saying, "In my opinion, in my opinion," then you can state your opinion. Or you can say, "I believe that," then your opinion will come. Or finally, you can say, "I cannot deny the fact," or "I cannot deny that." ठीक है. This is how you can express your opinions. Example से समझाता हूँ. Uh, I cannot deny that computers are rather beneficial for kids. I cannot deny that computers are rather beneficial for kids. This is how you are using I cannot deny that to express your opinions. Or if you are having very strong opinions, you are sure about your perspective, then you can use I am sure that or I am certain that. These are very strong words to express your opinions. And an example is I am certain that kids are getting benefited from computers. I am certain that kids are getting benefited from computers. But if a general opinion, then you can use. The other three words that is in my opinion or I believe that or I cannot deny that. These are generalized versions and a very sure shot version, very strong words for opinion expressing is I am sure that or I am certain that. Use as per your circumstance. Use as per your flexible situation in sentence constructions. That's it. Moving on to our final category, which is again very important, that is vocabulary for concluding a essay or concluding a report writing. In this, many people make a mistake. They use in a nutshell, which is completely not a formal word. Do not use it. I will recommend you use alternatives of in a nutshell, which I'll be explaining in this category. And the first one is in conclusion. It's a very general version, but it's super formal. And IELTS writing is all about formal vocab. Formal complex words and this one fits the category. So you can use in conclusion to conclude your essay or to conclude your report writing. Or you can use to summarize. To summarize. And the final one is 
taking everything into consideration this is a very good one band 9 vocabulary you can use to boost your score so the so i'm summarizing it in conclusion to summarize or you can use taking everything into consideration one example is to summarize no parents should neglect their children to conclude no parents should neglect their children taking everything into con everything into consideration no parents should neglect their children that's how you use it man That was pretty much it, guys. I hope you have found this video super informative. आपका जो vocabulary का initial range था वो expand हुआ होगा by watching this video. And अगर video पसंद आता है video को like कर दो channel पे नए थे तो channel को subscribe करके ही जाना because hundred kids are goal. We have to hit it, all right? And a lot of videos are on the road. I'll upload it super super soon. So wait for it. Press the bell icon. Till then, मिलते हैं एक और नए video के साथ. Stay awesome, stay sexy. Then के साथ signing off for the day.